Hello and welcome to this second video on number system. Here I am going to discuss with you the basic concepts of multiples, factors, HCF, LCM. We are also going to look at a few applications of LCM, HCF and we will also learn how to calculate the number of factors or sum of factors. Quite frankly, knowing these concepts well will not give you a huge edge over your peers. But I can tell you for sure that if you do not know these basics, this could act as a huge deterrent as we go into deep into other arithmetic concepts like ratio proportion, time speed distance, etc. Also, I would urge folks to have a strong uh, hold on basics and make sure that foundation is rock solid. So let's get started. Now, as the name suggests, uh, the first one says multiples. So what are multiples? Again, uh, so for example, let's say we have a number uh, 18. Now, what are the multiples of 18? One is 18 into 118. The second could be 36. Uh, it could be 18354. It could be 18 into 472 and so on. Similarly, if somebody asks you what is the multiple of 12, you can say 12, you can say 12 into 2, 24, you can say 12 into 3, 36, you can say 12 into 4, 48 and so on, right? So these are multiples. This is very, very basic. Now, where people usually get confused is factors. And now you have to understand that factors or divisors are the same thing. That means something that divides, divides the number exactly. So for example, if I say, let's say if I have 18. So what are the factors of 18? Of course, one is the factor of 18. 2 can divide it equally because 2 goes into 9 uh, and makes 18, right? 2 into 9, 18. 3 divides it, right? 3 into 6, 18. 4 doesn't, 5 doesn't, 6 divides it, right? 7 doesn't, 8 doesn't, 9 divides it, right? And then of course you have your 18. So these are nothing but your various factors of this number, right? Now, anytime they say factors or divisors uh, please understand this concept so while this is multiplication right of that number into whatever integers isn't this the reverse right that means this is sort of understanding okay what is 18 made up of right this is what factors is now let's go to an important concept of prime factorization that means we learned factors so here we said one is factor, two is factor, three, and as you can see, some are prime, some are not, right? But all of these are factors. Whereas in prime factorization, we only look at prime factors. So for example, let's say if we have a number like, let's say 36. So what we can do is we can find out the prime numbers, the, the factors, right? The prime factors of this number. And what we can do is we can use factor tree for that. So for example, let's say 36 can be written as two into 18. Now, wherever you're getting your prime, you stop there. That means here we'll stop, but this will continue because this is not prime, right? Of course, 18 is not prime. 18 can be further written as 2 into 9. Now, 2 is prime, so we'll stop here, whereas 9 will continue, right? This would be 3 into 3, right? And 3 is also prime, so we'll continue here. So if you actually see what are the prime factors of this number, 36, we can say 2 into 2 into 3 into 3, right? That's what it is made up of or we can write it as 2 to the power 2 and 3 to the power 2, right? So this is, let's say A and B are the prime numbers and their powers are like this. Let's say P and Q. This is of this form, okay? So this is prime factorization. Very, very basic, but we are going to use this extensively. So I hope uh, you get an idea. Okay, now let's come to our concept of LCM and HCF. Now, as the name suggests LCM so least common multiple so here it's about multiple so we have to remember this so for example let's say if we have to calculate LCM of let's say 12 comma 20 so how can we do that of course if you see the multiples of 12 would be 12 12 into 24 it would be 36 12 into 4 48 12 into 5 60 right 72 right uh, whereas if you go for 20 this would be 20 into 120 20 into 240 20 into 260 and then of course you have 80 you have 100 and so on and so forth now 
least common multiple that means what are the multiples these are the multiples which is the least common multiple is 12 common no 24 common no 36 common no 48 no 60 that means 60 is the least common multiple there would be many other common multiples but we have to find the least so 60 is the one so how you could have also done this you could have done this through prime factorization so now we know 12 can be written as 3 into 4 that means 3 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 2 this is how we can write it and the other number is 20 so how we can write 20 this is 5 into 4 that means uh, 5 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 2 right I can write it like this now in LCM what you do is you try to take all the prime factors right and the highest power of that right and if let's say something is here but is not here we will take that number because we are ultimately looking at multiple so first we will start with 2 what is the highest power of 2 we have 2 to the power 2 right this is the highest power 3 do we have here yes 3 highest power 1 5 highest power 1 so we will write this no other uh, prime number is there so this is going to be the LCM so what it is 2 to the power 4 4 into 3 12 12 into 5 60 and that's what we got right so this is how you can calculate the LCM of a number now if we have to calculate HCF which I discussed is the same as GCD greatest common divisor or it could be greatest common factor right CF of 12 right so what are the factors of 12 if I have to write it in the prime form I can say 2 to the power 2 4 into 3 to the power 1 right and uh, this I can write as 2 to the power 2 which is 4 into 5 to the power 1 so what we have to find is highest common factor so you have to find what is common here is 3 common here no is 5 common in both no but 2 is common right and it says highest common factor so highest is 2 to the power 2 that means 2 to the power 2 this is your highest common factor which is nothing but 4 right so this is your highest common factor now let's take a few examples right to further our understanding now this says the LCM of the fractions okay now we know how to calculate LCM of normal numbers but what if somebody asks you LCM of let's say P1 upon Q1 comma P2 upon Q2 right so the formula for fractions would be this would be if you have to calculate this would be L LCM of P1 comma P2 upon this would be HCF of Q1 comma Q2 or if they ask you let's say HCF of the same P1 upon Q1 uh, is one number and let's say P2 upon Q2 is another number so you can say this would be HCF of P1 comma P2 upon LCM of Q1 comma Q2 so in our question let's come to a question it says LCM of this fraction that means we can say LCM would be what this would be of these fractions would be LCM of now see P1 or P2 P3 right that means 5 comma 6 comma 3 upon HCF of HCF of 3 comma 7 comma 5 right this is this right this is what we have to calculate so this is very simple now what we'll do is LCM of 5 comma 6 comma 3 so how will you put it in that format so this is 5 this is prime no problem this is 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 1 and this is 3 right so that means what that means if you have to calculate LCM LCM meaning you have to take all the highest powers right and all the powers uh, it's not about common so that means 2 to the power how much we have 2 to the power 1 we have 3 to the highest power we have is 1 and we have 5 to the power 1 anything else no so these are all the three prime numbers upon HCF HCF of 3 comma 7 comma 5 now these are all three prime numbers HCF is common so nothing is common apart from 1 that means 1 is the only thing that is common so this would be 2 into 3 into 5 2 into 3 6 6 into 5 30 so 30 would be your answer so this is very easy okay now let's look at this question it says find the largest number that can divide 45 
comma 80 comma and 115 leaving no remainder okay so i think the important thing here would be divide that means they're looking for divisor and it says larger so isn't this your gcd or your uh, highest common factor right because it is about division right it is not about multiple so what we'll do is we will just have to calculate our hcf of sorry hcf of 40 comma 80 comma 115 how will i do that how can i write 40 right so let me write all these numbers okay this is here and let me write this so i can write 40 as uh, 8 into 5 right into prime factorization i'm doing and similarly here this is 2 to the power 4 into 5 and this would be uh, 5 into 5 into 2 5 into 2 10 15 5 into 3 okay so these are your prime factors right isn't it now what you'll do in hcf hcf means highest common factor what is common is 2 common anywhere 2 is common here 2 is common here but 2 is not common here okay won't come 5 5 and 5 yes yeah, so that means 5 definitely and highest power is 1 and then what else nothing else so that means your highest common factor would be 5 so this is how we could do this question now okay now one more uh, application of the same thing it says three bells chime simultaneously at 12 noon if they chime at intervals of 4, 8 and 12 minutes respectively, at what time will they chime together the next time? Okay. So what you could do is I would urge you to probably uh, pause the video now and try to attempt it on your own. This is very simple. It says they chime at 12 noon. Okay. And if they chime at intervals of let's say bell 1 and bell 2 and let's say bell 3, that means this will chime at 12, 0, 4 because every four minutes it does right so similarly 12 0 8 12 12 12 16 12 20 and let's say 12 24 right these are the intervals at which it will chime the next bell would chime after every eight minutes that means 12 08 12 16 12 24 and 12 uh, 32 etc the third one uh, would chime at 12 12 because every 12 minutes 12 24 12 36 now it says at what interval will they chime together the next time so as you can see which is the common thing here right of course your common thing which will come first is your uh, 12 24 right so that means answer would be 12 24 now if you focus on this question this is extremely easy all that you had to do was you had to just calculate LCM of 4, 8 and 12 because when will they chime again? So that means what is the common thing? When will they meet again? This would be LCM of 4, 8 and 12. So this was just a five second question, but I just illustrated this here so that you get a better understanding of what happened. So your correct answer would be, of course, 12, 24. Okay. Now, sometimes there are questions on number of factors and sum of factors. So we know that if, if we have a number, let's say 18, right? So how can I write 18? We wrote it in the form of a to the power p, b to the power q or c to the power r. We could write it in this format. So let's say 18 here. Let's see how many factors do we get for 18. Now this is 9 into 2. That means 2 to the power 1 into 3 to the power 2. That means it is of the form a to the power b, b to the power q, right? Now this is these are all the prime factors now what happens is if you have to find out what are the factors of 18 this is very easy you can say one is a factor you can say two is a factor you can say three is a factor you can say six is a factor you can say nine is a factor you can say 18 is the factor but what if the number is 360 and you have to calculate how many number of factors are there for this one now this may take a huge time and that is something this manual counting is something that may not work here so for this what we have is we have a simple formula and the formula for number of factors is very very simple that means if a number is written in this format a to the power b b to the power q how many factors it will have is p plus one in this case into q plus one that means what is p here in our uh, for 18 
2 to the power 1 that means p is 1 so this would be 1 plus 1 that means 2 into how much is q q is 2 so 2 plus 1 into 3 that means the total number of factors for this one would be 6 and if we actually calculate it manually 1 2 3 4 5 6 but for 360 it could be huge so that means we don't want to do manual calculation so this is your formula for finding the number of factors right now similarly if they ask you for sum of factors right so let's say if we have to find the sum of factors of let's say 18 in this case because we took that example so this would be a to the power p plus 1 minus 1 upon a minus 1 this into b to the power q plus 1 minus 1 upon b minus 1 right so how can we write this as in this case a was how much a was 2 so 2 to the power 1 plus 1 that means 2 to the power 2 minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 okay this into b b is how much 3 3 to the power 2 plus 1 that means 3 to the power 3 minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 so how much this how much would be this this is 2 to the power 2 4 minus 1 3 3 into 3 to the power 3 27 minus 1 26 26 upon 2 13 that means 13 into 3 39 hope i did not make any mistake let's just calculate 18 plus 9 27 27 27 and 10 37 37 plus 2 39 so i think this is correct okay now let's attempt this uh, last question it says find the number of factors of 900 so how can you write 900 again prime factorization so i think this we should do it fast instead of doing all that factory tree that was just basics but now we should be able to do it now 9 you can say this is 3 to the power 2 and 100 is made up of 2 to the power 2 and 5 to the power 2 isn't it 9 into 4 36 into 25 or 2 to the power 4 4 into 25 100 100 into this thing so these are your this is your format of a to the power b p plus uh, b to the power q and c to the power r so number of factors how do we calculate if you remember what we will do this 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 that means this plus one this plus one this plus one so actually it would be two plus one that means p plus one in our formula two plus one